Hello everyone and welcome back to Games with One. Today we're gonna try to get some good Riven mods for Stradivar. It's a pretty decent weapon but falls off after the level 50 enemies. You, it's just hard to kill with the enemies that are uh, higher level than level 50. So <coughs> I got some 90k of Kuba. Let's say this Stradivar Desino. All right, let's see what we're gonna get from a random number Jesus. 30.6 status duration, what we punch through. No, wait, uh, wait, first, first, I'm gonna level it up though. I'm gonna make it max rank so we can see what what are the final stats we're gonna get on it? Okay, this is much better. Alright, let's see. So, punch through and status duration. It's okay, but I'm looking for something else. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Fire rate, damage to infested, minus damage to corpus. Okay, no. <laughs> this is not good. Cycle 4000. Alright, let's see again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And bam. Toxin, electricity, zero damage. <coughs> okay, and how about no? I'm gonna take it just for fun. Okay, let's see one more time. Third time the lucky. Come on. Status chance, damage, damage to get to the near. This is best so far, but we are looking for something better. With a critical if it's possible. Cold puncture. Puncture mi minus 131% critical chance. Okay, that's what we want. Everybody wants that, that's for sure. Let's see one more. <coughs> Would be nice to get something with critical chance, critical damage. Puncture, fire rate, and weapon recoil. Nope. If this is gonna be best I got, uh, I will test it, of course. I want to re-roll and test uh, Riven mods so to see what's the difference without it and with it. Okay, heat, ammo mute, maximum, and fire rate. Great, great, great. Yeah, minus fire rate. That's what everybody wants these days. And 2,350. Yeah. Let's see. Fire rate and puncture. Yay. Nope. Let's see one more. <coughs> gonna see 8 or 10. I don't know. Will I have enough for more? Damage to infested, reload speed, electricity, minus status duration. Nope. 3000. I think this is the last I have. I will I will need more Kuba. Critical chance, uh, reload speed, electricity. Hmm. It already has a decent critical chance. And electricity is here. Here we have a damage to Grenier. I'll go I'll go with this one. This is raw damage. This is 51% damage to Grenier. It's it's probably probably gonna gonna increase damage like a, like a serration. One more serration and I have 200% more damage. So this this should be should be better. This is also okay. This is good. But I know what everyone will say. Ah, you should take that. You should change, you should take that. But really 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 this uh, this is just make a critic ve weapon crit but it will not it will make it more crit but it will, it will not add so much damage. I'm going with this one. I'm going with this one. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. 
it's time for testing. I decided to test it in a field, not in a simulacrum. And as you can see, uh, this is a pretty tough mission. It's a sorty one, first sorty. So uh, it's way, way more effective against Grenier. But this particular uh, sortie was against corpuses. And I wanted just to test it for the real, how does it looks in the field. So as you can see, I am uh, taking care of the most of the enemies without any problems. Of course, here is uh, some bigger bunch and this is a uh, sortie 2. Of course, you can see that because the enemies are level 80 and plus 80 to 90 something. And without any problems, uh, Stradivar is taking care of them. Also, as you can see, I'm not using full auto mode because uh, simply the semi auto mode is, uh, by my opinion, much, much, much better. It has a base of uh, 50 damage. Uh, critical chance is 20% on semi-auto and 15% for status chance while the full auto mode has only 10% critical chance, 5% status chance and 25 damage. So uh, that uh, semi-auto mode is much more viable against uh, higher level enemies. So this is a build that I'm using on the Stradivar in that video. Uh, vital Sense for critical damage, Point Strike for critical chance, that Riven mod I just got, Serration for more damage, Split Chamber for even more damage of course, uh, Infected Clip and Malign Force for some status chance and of course Toxin because I don't want to fight those shields, I just want to bypass them and make a damage to their health. And uh, for for first time I was using the heavy caliber instead of vile acceleration. What's, what's the result? Uh, I am making more damage but the problem is that shots are really really slow. You just uh, cannot make enough damage in any given time. You cannot change fast between the targets, you cannot deliver the enough damage. With the vile acceleration I can level the room really really fast and deliver enough damage to each target just to kill him, not to overkill him. It's not like a tongue core where you shoot one target and make 50,000 damage or something similar, but you have control over your damage. So you can kill much more enemies and very fast. This is all about this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. And if you have any suggestion about the next video, please leave a comment. See you and love you all. Bye bye.